Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while since I have filmed a video, but I wanted to sit down today and show you guys my updated foundation routine. So lately I have been going through a lot of breakouts and when I break out, I scar really easily. So I need a lot of coverage when it comes to my foundation. So I've kind of put together a bunch of different products and came up with a full coverage routine that has worked really well for me and it's you know covered a lot of scars and blemishes and pimples especially when I'm going through a breakout and I wanted to share that with you in this updated foundation routine so if you wanted to see what I do to get full coverage then keep on watching. So this is what my skin looks like without any skincare makeup this is just my skin and usually I get the breakouts right here on my cheeks on my chin and it's pretty much in this area right here I looked it up on the internet and usually this is gonna be like hormones related and usually one time a month you know I'll get that occasional breakout when we usually go on our monthly dot as women so that is where I tend to break out and I have a pretty good skincare routine. I have so much skincare and I'm pretty religious when it comes to having an everyday morning and night skincare routine. So I do take care of my skin. I don't really know what's going on with my skin right now. I feel like everyone's skin changes as they get older. And this is kind of what I am dealing with right now on my face. When I do have my breakouts, I try to not touch my face at all. I try to let my skin just do its thing. The only thing that I might do is use a mask that will help extract all of the gross junk that's trying to get out of my skin. And um, that helps kind of speed up the process. But besides that, I leave everything alone. With my skin, no matter what, even if I don't touch any pimples or zits that I have on my face, I always scar. With my skin, I scar more on the dark side, so I always have these remaining spots on my face that are basically just, you know, scars from breakouts, and they usually stay there for quite a while. So I do use certain skincare that will help, you know, reduce the appearance of these dark spots, but it's just something that I deal with with my skin. So when it comes to, you know, coverage, I need a lot of coverage, especially in the areas right here, just to get rid of all the dark spots. So in this video, I am gonna show you how I do my full coverage foundation routine. It's just kind of my updated routine. I haven't done it in a while, and since I'm going through kind of a breakout right now, I thought it would be perfect timing for me to show you how I get full coverage. First, I'm going to start off with skincare and prep my skin. I usually switch up my skincare um, every month, so I always try to do something new, or I always am trying new skincare products just to see how my skin likes it. Um, but for the most part, I usually use the same product throughout the month and then switch to something else a different month. But right now, I am using the Skin Fix Moisture Boost Serum. I use a serum morning and night. And um, this one's lighter, so I like to use this in the morning. I don't want to put something too heavy on my face, so I'm just going to use a couple pumps of this and put it all over my face. Another skincare product I use is this gel moisturizer from Algenis. This is the multi-perfecting pore corrector gel moisturizer. It's oil free and I do have problem areas on my cheeks and my nose right here. This is where I have the largest pores and a little bit on my chin. So I've been playing with this gel moisturizer. I do love gel textures. A little goes a long way with this moisturizer. So I just use a little bit on my nose, cheeks, and then I just kind of blend it out. This absorbs pretty quickly. I do love the consistency of this, and it seems to be, you know, making my pores a tad smaller um, on my nose, which I'm pretty happy with. So I just rub this in on my face, and then let it set for a second just to absorb. Another prep I use is a primer. A primer is so important and it just makes your foundation go on smoother and last longer. I have been using this one from Makeup Forever. This is the hydrating primer. And like I said, I like more gel consistency, so I've been playing with this. Another one that I really like to use is this one from Too Faced, and this is the Replenishing Face Primer 
this is also a great one so I would recommend either one but I am using this one I've been using it for a month or so I'm almost out um, but I do really like how this feels on the skin it's very lightweight more of a gel consistency and it just helps hydrate my cheek area which is where I usually get pretty dry now moving on to my foundation, I have been using this foundation for a while now and it has to be one of my favorite foundations out there. It's the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Performance Wear Liquid Foundation. I used to mix two colors for my complexion. Now since I have lost my summer tan, I am a lot lighter so I only have to use one. And this is Pecan number 18. This matches me perfectly. So I've just been using this. I love this foundation because it's, I feel like it's like waterproof. This stuff is like full coverage it does not budge it lasts all day it's more of a kind of natural matte finish I did a full review on it when it came out so I'll put a link above so you guys can check it out if you wanted to see my review but hands down this has to be one of my favorite foundations so I'm just going to apply this on my face I'm going to apply a couple pumps of foundation to the back of my hand and use it as a palette then I'm going to dip my finger in the foundation I just like to spread this around my face and then I'm going to go back in with this NYX foundation brush. I like it because it's flat, so I just stipple this foundation all over my face and it gives a really nice full coverage. As you can see with just that foundation, it gives me a lot of coverage on my face, especially in this area. There's just a few spots where I feel like I need a little bit more coverage, so that's where I'm going to go in with the concealer. The concealer I'm going to use is from Tarte. This is the Maracuja Creaseless Concealer. And I picked this up just randomly one day because I wanted to try it out. It was just kind of laying in one of my drawers and I never had a chance to play with it, so I thought I would one day. And this one is full coverage. It says it's creaseless, waterproof. Those three things sold me, so I figured I might as well try it. And I just am using it right here just to you know cover up those darker areas so what I like to do I usually have leftover foundation on the back of my hand so what I do I just like to put a tiny little dot on top of that leftover foundation that I used on my face or you can even mix the two together if you don't have any leftover foundation and I just use my finger and swirl this in with some of the foundation just to make the consistency not as thick because this concealer is pretty thick. And it'll also help blend um, you know, the two colors together so it'll match me better. And I'm just taking my finger and I'm just going to press that concealer on top of those areas where I need more coverage. I just kind of blend it out. My favorite concealer for under my eyes right now is from Pixi, and I love this because it's so inexpensive. I've been using this for a while. This is actually my second one. I just picked up a brand new one, and this is the Pat Away Concealing Base. I use the color Nude. It's going to be brighter than my complexion, um, or lighter than my complexion, so it's going to help brighten. And it has a really cool applicator. It's like a huge doe foot applicator. It's supposed to um, mimic your fingertips. So what I like to do is just put a couple dots underneath my eyes and then I just blend it out with a beauty blender. After I put all my concealers on my face, I kind of like to let it sit for a second. I don't like to set it right away because I feel like when it's kind of wet and you put a powder on top, that's where it's going to look cakey. So I just like to let it sit for a second and let it dry down a bit and then I go in to set everything and make sure everything stays in place. Now I'm going to set my under eye and also my chin and the center of my forehead with a brighter setting powder. The one that I've been using for a while now is from NYX. This is the HD Finishing Powder in the color Banana. I like to use Banana because it's going to help cancel out any blue or purple undertones and really help brighten up areas on your face. So I'm just going to take a smaller um, face brush. This is from Sedona Lace and I'm just going to pack this color under my eyes to set everything, keep it in place, and keep that area nice and bright. Now for other areas on my face, I'm going to take this powder from Too Faced. This is the Candy Johnson I Want Candy Banana Pudding 
brightening face powder and this is going to be more of a correcting powder it still has that yellow undertone so it's going to help cancel any you know darker areas on your face like i usually tend to scar more with a purple undertone or a red undertone so this will help cancel that i'm going to use the same brush and i'm just going to set that area where we use the concealer first before i use a powder brush all over this is just going to make sure that those areas do not move around or budge throughout the day and those darker areas are covered. Now I'm going to use this big powder brush from Time Los Angeles and I'm just going to set the rest of my makeup around my face and this will help keep everything in place. Now I'm gonna move on to adding some color to my complexion so I'm not completely flat, but I am happy with the coverage. Now I'm gonna move on to my favorite bronzer of all time from Too Faced. I have been using this forever. As you can see, I put a pretty good dent in it. And I'm just going to use an angle brush and apply this to the outer areas of my face to give my skin a little color. I'm just applying my bronzer to the top of my forehead, my temples, in the hollows of my cheeks, and under my jaw to add some more shape to my face. Now I'm going to use this contour powder from NYX and this cool brush that I love from Sedona Lace. And I'm just gonna pop this powder in the hollows of my cheeks to give myself a little bit more definition. I've never been a huge blush wearer. I like to use something that looks kind of like a very light bronzer. It has more of a brown bronzy tone for my cheeks. And I fell in love with this bronzer from Maybelline. And this is the Master Bronze uh, Matte Bronzing Powder. This is the color Vacation Bronze. It's very, very light. It looks like it probably wouldn't do very much, but it actually looks so nice on the cheeks if you want something really natural and great for every day. It has a very subtle satin finish to it, but I absolutely love this and I'm so glad I picked this up to try it one day. So I'm just going to apply this with a brush, a blush brush on my cheeks. This blush is so subtle, but it gives the perfect amount of color and it just gives a beautiful sheen on the cheeks. Now I'm going to highlight my complexion, my favorite part, and I'm going to use my favorite highlighter ever. This is from Ofra, and this is in collaboration with Nikki Tutorials. This is Glow Goals Highlighter. It is amazing, my favorite ever. So I'm just going to apply it with this small brush from NYX, which is one of my favorite highlighting brushes. This is the number 26 brush and I'm just going to lightly tap into this highlighter because this one is so pigmented, you get like so much, you know, color payoff. So I'm just going to pop this on the highest points of my cheeks. Look how pretty that glow is. So I'm going to continue to put this on the tops of my cheekbones. I also like to apply this on my cupid's bow areas on my nose and on my temples for an all over glow. Last but not least, I'm going to lock in everything I just did with a setting spray and I've been using this one from Too Faced. I love it and I reviewed this whole collection when it came out. I'll also put a link to that above if you want to check it out. But the Peach Mist, it's a mattifying setting spray. I do get really oily throughout the day, especially in my T-zone here. So I like to hydrate my base, but set everything with a matte finish. And I just like to shake this up really well first and then spray it all over. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed my full coverage foundation routine. It's really helped me lately when it comes to covering up breakouts and scars. So I hope it helps you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will list all the products that I use down below, along with links to where you can find these products. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.